A warm welcome to each of you that have chosen to listen to this Life Nuggets. Today's nugget is nugget number 39, overflowing joy. When speaking about joy, we first have to realize the joy we feel has little to do with the circumstances of our lives and everything to do with the focus of our lives. Russell M. Nelson. The interesting thing is, joy starts with the way we perceive the world around us. And it all depends on what we're focusing on. So, see the world through the eyes of your inner child. The eyes that sparkle in awe and amazement as they see love, magic and mystery in the most ordinary things. Then your soul becomes alive with joy and gratitude. So the reality is, joy does not simply happen to us. We have to choose joy and keep choosing it every day. Henry Nowen. But let us have a quick look at what joy is all about. First, defining joy. Psalm 16 verse 11. Joy is a deep sense of inner gladness and contentment that transcends circumstances. It springs from a relationship with God and a confidence in His promises, rather than from temporary pleasures or material possessions. Secondly, the source of joy, James 1 verse 17. God is the ultimate source of joy. He delights in blessing His children and fills their hearts with joy that overflows. By seeking Him and aligning our lives with His will, we tap into an endless reservoir of joy that sustains us through all seasons of life. Thirdly, choosing joy, Philippians 4 verse 4. Joy is not merely a fleeting emotion, but a conscious choice we make regardless of our circumstances. Despite facing trials and challenges, we can rejoice in the Lord always, finding strength and comfort in His presence. Fourthly, gratitude and joy. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16 to 18. Cultivating a heart of gratitude fuels our joy. When we intentionally focus on God's goodness and blessings, even in the midst of hardships, our hearts overflow with thanksgiving and joy that cannot be shaken. The fifth one, sharing joy. Romans 15 verse 13. Joy is contagious and as children of God, we're called to share it with others. By spreading love, kindness and encouragement, we become instruments of God's joy, bringing hope and light into the lives of those around us. And that is precisely why Mother Teresa said, Joy is prayer, joy is strength, joy is love, joy is a net of love by which you can catch souls. That's why happiness and joy cannot be traveled to, owned, earned, worn, consumed. Happiness is the spiritual experience of living every minute with love, grace and gratitude. For more inspiration, you're more than welcome to visit our Live Light community channels on YouTube as well as on Facebook. May you have a wonderful day and may you be blessed today with streams of living and joyous waters flowing from your innermost being. Love and regards, Charles Butter.